Hello, this is the Outdoors Fishing Show, and today we are going to be doing a review on my Shadow Ops UTG L96. So, first thing I want to talk about is the scope. Um, I got it off of Airsoft, no, not the scope, but the gun. Got it off of Airsoft uh, GI, uh, it's a very nice website. But I do recommend you read the full information because they tricked me. And said no scope, but I wasn't paying attention. And there's something else I have on the gun. I'm just talking about some of the parts I have on, on it real quick. And that's a silencer I made. And I just want to give a shout out to AST Kilo 23. Um, I also recommend checking out his videos. He made a video on how to make a silencer. And this is what mine turned out to be. You can actually make it out of toilet paper some foam and a little bit of electric tape or spray paint I'll make a video on that and I'll just show you how it actually does silence the gun uh, I won't do a comparison because I don't feel like taking it off so yeah the scope I'm hoping to get a leapers 3 to 9 by 40 if you know what that is, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move to the stock because it has a bunch of features. Okay, so uh, the cheek wrist is it's plastic. The, the whole, everything but the barrel is plastic except for the scope and stuff. Like the stock going, going, where you can see in the camera from here down is plastic even the trigger but the cheek rest it's a it's fully adjustable you can even take it off uh, by the screws on the other side we'll get a close up on that by these screws this one and this one you just get the allen key that comes with it and then you can adjust the shoulder rest which I don't really recommend doing because it comes in pretty nice uh, if you do take it off, you'll find there's a big weight right here. Uh, you might not want to take that out because that is what helps you balance the gun. So, this is bolt action. And let's move to the bipod. There's one thing I do not like about it. It is that it's very, not the bipod. The bipod is actually pretty sturdy and very nice. But this little rail you get here. It's very shaky. I've tried a bunch of things and I just can't get it to stand still. So leave a comment if you know how to fix that. But okay, so with the bipod, it you can adjust it different heights. So let me adjust the camera. Okay, so there's little little knobs right here. Just twist. Not even very hard, but then you can tighten them. Well, it's spring, so you gotta tighten it so it won't go anywhere. Close this one. Oh, just to open it or close it, pull down this tab and move it. And then this one. Just same thing. Gotta tighten it back up for the spring. And you move it up. But I'm just gonna keep it down. Uh, the clip that comes with it, it's very nice, it's uh, metal, very, very sturdy stuff. Um, to load it, I do not have a speed loader down here because my I left my green tab at my friend's house because we are going to play airsoft, but that would be really okay. So you just, okay, you put the little attachment onto the speed loader, then the easiest way I found to do it is to put your palm down and then put the little thing and then do your speed loader and then just take it in the magazine well it's right up under there and you just put it in there and if you don't hear a click like this is the click you want to hear but if you do not hear that click you'll get double feeds and all kinds of terrible stuff uh, this is the sling that does come with it uh, it's metal it's, it's adjustable it's nice uh, it has ambidextrous string mounts, I mean sling mounts, one on that side, one on that side, 
one on this side, one on this side, and there's even a little thing under the gun right there. Please comment if you know what that is. I'm, I've had the gun for a little while, not too long. Um, so, I'm not absolutely sure. This gun fires around 300 and, I mean, 470 FPS with .20 gram BBs. Uh, that's all I have right now. I ran out of .3s, so that's just what I have to make do with. Um, okay, this, this gun has three safeties. Number one is when you cock it and you pretty you bolt it and everything when you get to right here you cannot pull the trigger until the bolt is down the second trigger I mean the second safety is the main safety red is fire and if the red is covers that's safe if the red is showing, it means fire. The third safety, it's kind of on there for who knows what reason, but I'll go ahead and cock the gun. Because you gotta do it. The gun is surprisingly easy to cock. I thought it was gonna be harder. And what you do, you cannot shoot without pulling down this trigger. So, what I recommend is like. If you don't want to deal with this, you can get some electric tape and just tape it down, and then you'll be fine. So, but I don't recommend doing that because it might mess up the trigger. Uh, um, that's almost it. It's got sort of a pistol grip with a nice thumb hole. It feels very comfor comfortable in the hand. Um, when you open. This door, slide door, when you cock it, does not open, which is a very nice feature because you can get dirt in there and stuff, so that's one of the features I like. Uh, we will be doing a test shooting um, right after the video. It will be on part two.